Hi, this is Zach Mir from Master Investor with a look at some bulletin board hero stocks on Friday the 13th of March. I'm starting off with AFC Energy where you can see that there's been pro progress uh, after the unfilled gap to the upside earlier this week uh, through the 50-day moving average at 9.27 pence. Uh, looks like we've got an overall U-shaped recovery here. Uh, and the view now is that uh, while there's no end of day close back below the initial uh, March resistance of 14.55 pence, uh, and while the shares really remain above the 50-day moving out, uh, the 200-day moving average rather at 15.11 pence, we would expect further decent upside. Target over the next uh, one to two months is as high as 25 pence, which is the top of this uh, rising September price channel. What you normally ex uh, expect in such situations is the uh, the, mo the move to the upside is similar and equal and opposite to that to the downside. Uh, hence completing the U-shaped reversal. The only sort of note of caution at the moment really is the way that the RSI 86 is very, very overbought. So one would be hoping for uh, slight weakness towards the 200-day line to buy into uh, for those traders who are still confident about this situation. Next up is Anglo-Asian mining, uh, where we've, we're still in the aftermath of this uh, sharp February bear trap below uh, 4 pence. And below the previous uh, 2014 support. Uh, the view now is that we've covered uh, or recovered the 50 day moving average uh, at 5.73 uh, pence on a two day closing basis. Uh, that should uh, provide further up uh, momentum for the stock uh, within a rising trend channel from September, top of the channel up to 12 pence, and that would be the four to six week target on the shares. Any weakness towards the 50 day line in the first instance is regarded as a buying opportunity. ITM power interesting at the moment uh, given the way that there's been a surge in volume accompanying this uh, gap to the upside above the 200 day moving average. Rather messy over the last uh, few months here. We, we, we broke above the 200 day line shown here in black at 27.69 but uh, have tested it via bear traps on a couple of occasions. Uh, the likelihood now is that uh, even if we try and fill this uh, gap that there's been down to 27 pence while there's no end of day close back below the 200 day line, we regard this as a recovery situation and one which could lead up to the top of a rising October price channel as high as 40 pence over the next month. If you're cautious on the shares, maybe you wait for an end of day close back above the 50 day moving average at 29.36 pence uh, before going long. Stock which has been uh, out of focus for quite a while, but looks like it's coming back. Uh, into fashion is uh, Magnolia Petroleum. This is set on the basis of the uh, recovery of the 50 day moving average at 0 0.65 pence. Uh, that's normally the type of signal which will change a, a stock or a market from a downtrend back to a, a recovery or uptrend situation. While there's no end of day close back below the 50 day line, we're looking for an initial target here 1.03 pence over the next couple of weeks and eventual target over the next one to two months as high as the top of this. Uh, falling trend channel from August at 1.4 pence. Finishing off with Oilex, where we've got a similar recovery uh, to that just seen in uh, Magnolia, rec recovering the 50-day moving average, that's at uh, 2.11 pence. A uh, good, a decent day above that with the floor of uh, Thursday session uh, right on the 50-day line. The view is that uh, we should hit the top of this broadening October, uh, October uh, triangle at 4.5 pence over the next uh, one to two months and that uh, any weakness uh, initially back towards the 50 day line is regarded as a buying opportunity. That's it from me. More updates at masterinvestor.co.uk.